everyone, I'm back. Today I thought I should do a little um, drink since I have the biggest hangover right now and I feel like this is the only remedy that's going to help me <laughs> put more alcohol in my body. Um, so I want to show you a quick drink. Um, I'm sure everyone knows how to do this. Really simple, really easy, using just really fresh ingredient. This is going to be um, mimosa. And I've cut up oranges um, in half. I don't have the little thing where you could, you know, you squeeze an orange. I don't know what they're called. But I'm just going to squeeze it in, in just into a, a glass here. Um, I'm using about, I think, one, two, three about five oranges and just cutting it in half I think it would have been a lot easier if I had the little thing that allows me to squeeze it but these oranges doesn't have any seeds on them or in them so I don't really have to worry about seed coming through but it's gonna get a little bit messy here um, it's okay I'll wipe it later This is one of my favorite drink ever if I need to kind of a little bit of a pick-me-up, you know, a, a little bit of a fresher um, to kind of get me through the day after a, a long Saturday night. Um, Bloody Mary is also good. I actually read up on a couple of um, remedies that you could do if you have um, a huge hangover the night before um, asparagus is really good for you I believe they were talking about how um, in one of the study that uh, one of the university did in Korea that it fights off um, any toxin in your body um, asparagus I've heard eggs is really good for you um, of course, tomato juice is really good for you, and then banana as well. Um, of course, you know, water, you want to drink as much water as you can. That's going to really help um, give that H2O back to your body because alcohol loves water and it tends to kind of suck a lot of that out of your body when you drink alcohol. So I think this is enough. Um, I'm going to use a different kind of rose, or I'm sorry, not rose, champagne. So this is Corbel. Um, Sweet Rosé. It's a California champagne. This is my favorite. I know that with normal mimosa you use you know, your standard uh, champagne, but this one's my favorite. It's sweet. It's delicious. It's very crisp. So we're going to be using this today. And you really don't need measuring. It's just, you know, half orange juice and half um, champagne. So it's really simple. I'm just going to kind of eyeball it. A little bit so let the bubbly and you can just drink it like this with a little what I've done before is cut up some um, strawberries or I froze the strawberry and then after I kind of cut them up and then put them into um, the champagne and it's just so good it has a little bit of sweet in them so ideal for anyone who doesn't like you know the taste of regular champagne Okay, and then we're just going to pour the orange juice in there. I think a little bit more will do. Have you guys ever heard of Market Street um, and have Market Street in your area? They make some really good um, mimosa. So. Normally, I would just go there in the morning and have a glass. It's delicious. But, of course, you can see how easy it is to make it yourself. Just a bottle of champagne. This is around, I believe, 15 or $16. I'm not sure. I mean, you get quite a bit um, in this bottle. Um, and then just any oranges you have sitting around the, ho the house. Um, and mi mix it together. It's delicious. Let me taste it. Mmm. It's so good. It's delicious. So, 
enjoy. This is very, very simple. I know most of you probably already know how to do it, but just want to share it with you for those who, you know, may not know. But I said that I've cut up about five oranges, but it looks like I've only ended up using about three. So, you know, depending on how many you want to make, um, I think three is probably going to be sufficient for um, yourself unless you want to make it for your friends or something. Um, but this is it. I should be coming with more videos um, very soon. I've just been really, really slam a couple weeks, so I apologize about that. Um, but cheers. Happy Sunday. I'll see you soon.